Okay guys, this is going to be a quick video explaining why you should short stroke your gun if you are going to be running a fast setup. Um, get, keep in mind, this is just sort of a general guideline. I just, I'm just doing this because I've had a couple questions ask, um, why are you short stroking your gun or short, short stroking your sector gear? Okay, the first and foremost reason that you would short stroke um, teeth off of your sector gear uh, is to prevent pre-engagement. Now, what is pre-engagement? Um, pre-engagement is when your piston, as it pulls back, this is on a normal um, cycle, it'll pull back, like on a Santa stock gun, it'll return, and then your gears make that full cycle around and it picks it back up again like that. However, if you're gonna be running something like a, like a very high speed setup on say 13 to ones, or you're running a very weak spring, say M100 or less than M100, even M110, you can see a lot of problems with this. Um, your piston will actually not fully return before your gears make a full circle and come back around again. Um, because of that, it'll catch it about, you know, say right here. Um, and obviously this is not gonna bode well for these plastic teeth or even, even metal teeth. It, 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 your piston needs time to return fully. Uh, before your sector gear comes and picks it back up again. Um, so short stroking it uh, provides a couple things. First of all, um, so just say these three teeth are gone, so it'll pick up from uh, this tooth instead, and it'll pull it back to, okay, say this point right here, and it'll release it a lot earlier. The, so that way the piston uh, releases quicker, and has more time to return before the gears come back around again. Um, what that also does is that because it's a short stroke setup, um, you are only pulling your piston back uh, a, f uh, a little bit less than you would normally. So what that's going to do is it's going to um, lower your FPS. And that's really handy um, when you want to do a incredibly fast setup, say anything over 40-ish, I'll just use that as an example because only thing over actually like 30, 35 is when you can start to run into problems like this if you haven't set things up properly. So my recommendation if you want to do a high speed build um, for CQB is going to be um, use something at the very minimum at about an M120, um, I prefer Prometheus Springs, and short stroke uh, three teeth off the pickup side of your sector gear. Now why the pickup side of your sector gear? Um, well, you'll notice that where the um, that where this little notch is to pull back your tappet plate is located right here. And if you were to short stroke off of the uh, release tooth right here, you might not give yourself enough time for the air nozzle to seal back up again before it releases, um, and that can cause some compression and feeding issues. So that's why you would cut off these three teeth right here, and that way your where it engages your tappet plate is still going to be the same time and everything like that. It's just the actual piston stroke will be coming just a tiny bit later. Um, but yeah, and so you can short stroke to reduce your FPS on higher, on heavier springs. And that also helps with something called overspin. Um, overspin is when your motor is turning so fast, say that you're running at 11.1 with a very high speed motor. Um, it's turning so fast that when you let go, it actually doesn't stop. It keeps going, so it might, you know, shoot one or two cycles more after you let go of the trigger or if you're in um, semi-auto it could be going so fast that it does a cycle of two in that one trigger pull um, so that that heavier spring will help counteract those um, those forces um, coming back on this gear right here um, so that's kinda neat those are just some tips uh, and reasons why you can and I would recommend you short stroke your gears if you're doing a high speed build with a relatively low FPS. Thanks. All right. Talk to you later.